Let's create your membership website and find the best membership model for you and get up and running using 100% free software. So timestamps below, along with some other helpful links and resources, including our online course playbook to help making all of your course content a complete breeze or doing your AMA. So speaking of AMAs, let's talk about your membership model because there's lots of different ways you can monetize a membership site. It could be a one-time fee, it could be an annual fee, or of course a monthly fee or some other periodic fee. You like how the last three were pretty much just the same thing? We're charging people periodically. So let's go through it. The first one we have is an AMA, and this is the most common type of membership site where people pay a monthly or annual fee and a couple times a month, you hop on a webinar and you do some sort of presentation and you answer a bunch of questions. Now, I also recommend having some sort of content library, but we'll get to that when we talk about structuring your membership site. Then the next type we have is going to be some sort of newsletter. So if you don't wanna hop on a live call and start answering questions, then what you can do is provide some sort of email newsletter where you're providing up-to-date analysis or information or you could also be providing feedback, although that's not as common. And then the membership site can be a archive where people can go back and find all of the previous emails. And sometimes some memberships, what they'll do is you'll charge a monthly fee for the email, and then you can charge a one-time fee upfront for the archive. So that's another way to increase your revenue as soon as someone joins your membership site. And then the final one we have is just going to be an online course. They pay a one-time fee and they get access to a membership site that has a static course. Now, these next three aren't necessarily as common. You can create a membership site as a client portal. You can create a membership site for a bundle of tools or resources, more on that in a moment, or you could create a membership site for free and offer it as a lead magnet. That's actually what I started to do with this channel. And while we did get thousands of people signing up, uh, you'll find that a lot of people don't actually continue to log in because when someone doesn't pay for something, the perceived value is quite low. But I'm going to assume that you choose a model that you actually want to get paid for. And if you want more details on these different ideas and more examples, link in the cards and the description to a super deep dive guide that goes through all of these membership models, pricing strategies, and some live examples. Now, once you've chosen your membership model, it's time to identify what on earth your membership is going to be about. So if you already know exactly what you want your membership site to be about, here's the timestamp to jump over to the structuring section. Otherwise, you need to identify the gap. This is going to be where you're going to identify where your customer is, where they want to be, and then create a bridge. And that bridge is going to be your membership site, taking them from, I don't know how to do this, I want this result to, I know how to do this, and I got the result, right? And so if you're not quite sure what on earth your content should actually be about, here is a simple process you can use to figure out where you are uniquely positioned to provide results for people. So the first thing you want to do here is list out all of your skills, give them a quick description. I'm going to go through this relatively quickly. You can always pause if you want to see the examples. Then you're going to list out the results that you've been able to achieve as a result of those skills. So in this particular instance, I have marketing, video editing, financial analysis, bookkeeping, cooking, and running, right? And then I write out what that means and then some results that I've achieved for each. Then choose three and talk about what is what was really hard about achieving that specific result. So for me, running a YouTube channel, slow growth, running out of ad budgets, finding the right companies to assess. And then I talk about, okay, well, how did our lives change as a result of achieving those results? So what was the big change? So for one, it was freedom to work on my own time once I got my marketing agency up and running. Then for video editing, I actually started to go to bed on time. No joke, I used to stay up super late editing these videos, right? And then financial analysis, I was able to pay for part of my college because I, before I was a marketing geek, I was a big finance nerd and just like stared at stock charts all day, right? Not exactly a fun career choice, which is why you're watching this video now and I'm not just staring at that screen all day. Charts get boring. So anyway, then we need to think about what is it that allowed us to achieve the results and overcome these roadblocks, enjoy these life benefits where other people haven't, right? So what was our unique way of going about doing it? And this is where you're actually going to find a gold mine of content for your membership site. 
And then of course you wrap up, what was the big overarching impact on your life? So as a result of going through all of those trials and errors, and of course achieving those results, how has your life really been impacted and different? This is more so going to help you when you get to writing sales copy to sell your online course. So once you've gone through this process, hopefully you have an idea of what type of content and who you should be helping, it's time to structure your membership site. Now, when it comes to structuring your site, we'll go through a free software to do all the tech stuff, right? That's not really important. What's important is figuring out how we're going to help bridge that gap. How are we going to take our members from where they are to ultimately where they want to be? And so one of the simplest things you can do with a membership site, let's say we're going to do an AMA, right? So people are going to be able to jump on and ask us questions. Well, you need more in your site than just saying, hey, I'm here, ask me any question, right? Because guess what? They don't know what questions to ask, right? And so something that you can do is you can create different worksheets, templates, and scripts, trackers, and organizers, and tools that they can have available to them that they can start using to help them achieve the results and overcome the roadblocks that they're ultimately dealing with. And so here's a quick example of some. You can have an audit, resource list, organizer, tracker, script, template, calculator, planner, and then of course you could have little micro courses where maybe you have 20 or 30 minute guides that go through one specific part of the overall process. So there's lots of different things you can do with your membership site. So I'll link in the cards and the description to a super deep dive guide that goes through digital product ideas. And so something that you can do is you can create lots of different small digital products. It's really easy to create them in a couple days, and then you can bundle them together and include them inside of your membership site. Personally, I like creating templates, scripts, and trackers because those tend to be really valuable to someone who's genuinely trying to achieve results. And then of course, it's a great complement to whatever type of newsletter or webinars that you have inside of your ongoing membership site. After all, you do need some sort of reason to continue to charge people on a monthly or annual basis. Unless you're doing a course, then you just create the course and be done with it. So link again in the cards in the description to a guide that goes through lots of different examples that you can include inside your membership site to build value and keep people coming back. Now, one final step before you actually start building your site is of course content creation, which could be a video in and of itself. So the good news is when it comes to creating membership content, the bar is really low. <laughs> like when it comes to your production quality or your production value, or you need this fancy camera or that fancy mic, nobody really cares. What you're being judged on is the quality of your content and whether or not people are getting the value and benefits that they thought they were going to get when they signed up. So here's an example of some microphones, cameras, and software I recommend. For your microphone, you can use the Rode Lav Go, which is what you're listening to right now. And of course, it's a lot more echoey than it will be for you because I just happen to be recording in a place with a lot of concrete walls and a tile floor. I need a lot more soundproofing in this room than I have. So when it comes to your camera, guess what? You don't need one unless you're doing webinars, in which case your whatever webcam you have on your camera is more than enough. You don't need to have a really fancy production quality. People care about the information, not that you have a 4K, you know, great looking camera or awesome looking set. They care about the information and achieving the results that they showed up for. Then when it comes to software, you can use ScreenFlow or Camtasia. If you're on a Mac and you're using one of the M1s, you definitely need to triple check that whatever software you're looking at can actually record your Mac audio. There's a new security thing and it's, it's just become a mess. So uh, just keep that in mind if you're on Mac and you're using one of their M1 or M2, Chew, M2 or whatever M chip they're on by now. And then of course for graphics, all of the graphics that you see in my videos, I just use Google Slides. It doesn't have to be super complicated. Canva is another great one. And then of course for media, if you really wanted to get fancy, you want some B-rolls, you want some extra graphics or some sound effects, then you can check out Envato Elements or Storyblocks for those. Now, when it comes to what software to use, right? The good news is you don't need fancy software to go ahead and actually start building out your membership site. So I'll leave a link in the description to Systemi.io. So this is a demo that we have inside of Systemi, and this is what our membership site looks like. You can see we have a couple of courses in here. You can put on your custom thumbnails, and if I'm able to click into one here, 
oh yay, my internet's still working. And then we've had storms today. And then you can see we have a video, and then of course we have some basic information and a link to download some of the worksheets. Now what's nice about Systemi, unlike some of the other platforms out there, is even on the free plan, you can actually directly upload your videos to Systemi. So what you're seeing here is Vimeo embeds. You don't actually have to do that. Whereas a lot of other course platforms, you're gonna pay for that course platform, especially if you're doing WordPress, plus you know, 250 a year for Vimeo. So this is what our membership sites tend to look like. We keep them basic. Inside of the back end, you can see here, it's really easy to organize your course content and your layout. And then the builder itself is really easy to use. They have lots of different text bullet points. And of course you can click and drag and there's inline editing. So you can make your membership site look exactly how you want it. And I'll link up in the cards and the description to a full blown guide that goes through how to build your membership site inside of Systemi.io because that'll be twice as long as this video. And of course you don't have to use Systemi. I also like using Thrivecart. So I'll leave both of those linked up in the description. If you do decide to purchase or upgrade, we receive a commission as a way to support this channel and content. The only asterisk I have in this particular section, I'll leave a link in the cards in the description to a super deep dive guide that goes through how to build a completely functional membership site for free using Systemi. So link in the cards in the description to that. Please don't try and build your membership site on WordPress. After doing this for so many years, I used to be all in on WordPress and I can tell you from personal experience, Yes, it looks cheaper on the outset, but you're going to lose so much time and energy with all of the headaches and integration issues. Just go with a site or platform that allows you to quickly get up and running and not deal with all of that coding headache. So thank you so much for watching. Sincerely hope you have an idea of what type of membership site you can create, what you can do in terms of content based upon your own personal skills and experience. And of course, you are not as confused as to all of the tech stuff, which it really isn't, doesn't need to be super fancy. It's the information and the impact that you're making on people's lives that really matters. So thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe for more membership guides and marketing guides just like this one. And until the next, keep building the business you love.